state government announces 10-day statewide total curfew from July 18 to 27 to bring down spread of COVID infection in interest of public health. Panic buying grips in false city, many rush to buy essential commodities, causing traffic snarls on major roads of Impulse city following curfew announcement. Manipur reports 1,128 new COVID-19 cases out of 7,184 samples tested in the last 24 hours. That toll reaches 1,350 with 10 new deaths. Health advisor to Chief Minister Dr. S. Ranjan assures to increase COVID care centers and community home isolation centers in wake of COVID situation in the state. Farmers in Kaching district are facing inconveniences in getting fertilizers as agriculture departments supply fertilizers to 200 farmers per day. National Medical Commission permits to open 11 new postgraduate courses at Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Genems, Impal. And India records above 40,000 recoveries and 38,949 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. India's recovery rate stands at 97.28%. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Lighting Monica with the latest news updates. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands. Frequently wear your mask properly and maintain a safe distance. Now the news and details. State government has issued order imposing curfew from July 18 to 27 as a stricter measure to bring down the spread of infection in the interest of public health. As per an order issued by Chairman of State Executive Committee, State Disaster Management Authority, come Chief Secretary Dr. Rajesh Kumar, essential service related to vaccination, COVID testing, medical services, water supply, power supply, police, telecom or internet services, air travel, agriculture or horticulture, garbage clearance, petrol pumps, LPG distributors and goods trucks are allowed. Essential and key department of the government shall continue to function with minimal staff with emphasis on e-office or work from home. The order also stated that Deputy Commissioners shall issue necessary orders for curfew and SPs shall take necessary action to implement the orders strictly. Chief Minister Nong Thong Bambirain appealed to people to strictly abide by guidelines during the 10-day statewide total curfew from July 18. He said ignorance of people towards the ongoing pandemic might lead to population extinction of the state. In a video release from Chief Minister's Secretariat last night, the Chief Minister expressed apprehension over the current COVID situation in the state. He added, the state government has been striving to take control of the situation. However, more than 1,000 active cases of COVID-19 and around 15 deaths are reported every day. Birain also said, Self-care is the lone way to overcome the pandemic. He mentioned that the government has been organizing mass vaccination, mass testing programs as well as looking after the leg of doctors, nurses and hospital beds in the fight against the pandemic. Birain also said the decision to impose total curfew in the state was taken after consultation with experts, joint committee and consultative committee. He also said panic buying and panic selling might lead to another intense situation. He appealed to people to avoid gatherings and strictly follow SOPs. Chief Minister also re said relax curfew for ritual activities related to upcoming Bakrid Eid on July 21. He further appealed to people not to misuse the relaxation and avoid mass gatherings.
ฮุจิชีนิบอฮุจิมนาริบะมะยามซิกะอวาวะซิอูบะตะกุยคังมะมะมะตะยานะมิตะรานิคะทิงบะตะกุยซะราเฮลอยชีรอยมะนิปูล
Executive member of BJP Manipur Pradesh, SKB highlighted the plights facing farmers of Nauria Pakhanglakpa amid the ongoing pandemic. He added farmers are panicked over possible shortage of agricultural producers due to lack of fertilizers amidst the drought issues owing to the late onset of monsoon. He said that he has been providing irrigation facilities as well as fertilizers to ease the plights facing farmers to some extent. He was speaking during the distribution of fertilizers at Chumthang Sanapung, Langthabal. He said more than 1,000 fertilizers were distributed to farmers of four wards of Langthabal for the first phase. He assured to continue distribution of fertilizers in future. <laughs> Vice President of All Manipur Muslim Students Organization AMMSO Yunus Ali Kulapam urged the state government to not conduct a made statement which might hurt the sentiments of masses, especially the Muslims. Talking on the backdrop of Manipur SP crime branch public notification imposing ban on illegal slaughter and transportation of animals, Yunush Ali said AMMSO warmly welcomed the clarifications from relevant departments citing that the notice was not issued against the interest of a particular religion. Speaking to media at AMSO office, check on today AMSO, President Mohammed Ayub Khan extended greetings of Eid festival. He further wished for the festival to bring peace and prosperity in the state. He appealed to Muslim brethren to strictly follow COVID SOPs while celebrating Eid festival. Pandemic Asina, Hirna, Seres, or Pamaramna, it as a celebration when the lobby Ganu, Gomen Asina Piri by SOP, guidelines sing Napiraga, Dukanda, Amadi Katel sing, Dai Min Pusanda Vida, Kobit Asibu, Maram Sana, Aki to sing Bob Hauraga, Lamna Tamina Basu, Amsogi, Makedagi, Manipurgi, Pangal sing, Amade, Ate, Ate community sing the Su, Hajari, Darmagi Oiba, Namaswanba, Jara Toba, Aduga Kurbani, Tobada, Kariguba, Amatagi, Ating Balai Roy, Haina Su, Amsogi, Makedagi Tamzari. Manipura Kundan Lata Duna Lidiba, Mite Pangal, Sing Asida, Makata na Madugumba, Toganing Daba, Miam na Palm Daba, Pangal Samas na Palm Daba, Madumak, Action Nuena, Makata na Lokot Piratana Bigamakta, Pali Balinga, Asibulu Sing Biribat, Honorable Chief Minister Yen Birin Singi Puning Sing Sinzeri, Makata na Mite Pangal, Amasung, Manipuri, Muslim Haina Kang Nariba, Miam Masigi, Sentiment Kangna, Langang na Amasung, Marile Nabasinga, Tabuk Torum, Makata na Tobirakani Habit Hazabadu, All Manipur Muslim Students Organization, Gimaike Degi, Tamzeri. National Medical Commission has permitted to open 11 new postgraduate courses at Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Janims, Impal, the lone state government-run medical college. Speaking exclusively to Impact News, Janims Director Professor Lystrom Debain informed that the subjects to be opened for the new PG courses at Janims are four courses in ophthalmology, three in radio diagnosis, two in dermatology and two other in pediatric. It may be mentioned that Genim Society along with Genim Society Director, teaching and non-teaching staffs, the hospital has been urging to the authority concerned for further development and opening of new postgraduate courses at Genim's. Azik Pubiri ba koi ki honorable chief minister hai jo bata re ma koi ki president of koi ki genims obi bani na ma ki listing makada ma ki advice makada sub ki matik koi kan na hona jaraga pg trama thoi se phang jabani pg trama thoi se di koi ki pg mari si na koi ki kanoji dani ai dani ophthalmology dani aduga pg ahum mana radio diagnosis ta pg ani mana koi ki dermatology ta smai to na aduga pg ani mana Angangida, Peter Trick Das Mai Tokana, Ike Kunna Mari Ohum Ani Ani Tramatwe, Nona Pangaropani, Ado Kwe Masi, Gamenegi undertaking Habitare, 
एस पर एम सी आई और नेशनल मेडिकल कमीशन से गाइडलाइन मतुना चिथी खर था तारी चिथी टू वीक्स की मनुग थागदी और एल ओ पी लेटर ऑफ पर्मीट है सूसो सूद फंगे दैट मीस पी जी हाँ यादमत इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अगर अवाड़ फेकल्टी इक्विपमेंसीम कहीं तौजरी मैं थोड़ी अवाड़ी नती अवाड़ी अपाई चौगा तौनरग अम कायर ओथोरीटी पुटअप तौजरग यहाँ थोड़ा मैं अखोई हाँ मैं हूँ National President of BJP ST Mocha Kham Rajya Sabha MP Samir Oran reached Imphal on his two-day visit to the state today. Samir will attend the state executive meeting to be convened by BJP Manipur Pradesh ST Mocha in Imphal tomorrow. Speaking to media at the Imphal International Airport, Samir said the state executive meeting will discuss on strengthening of the party from the boots level in scheduled tribe areas of Manipur. added bjp government has taken up different measures to deliver basic rights to scheduled tribe community mentioning that bjp has been striving for development of scheduled tribes the national leader appeals to people to support the government newly appointed bjp president of bjp manipur pradesh a sharda who paid a visit to delhi some days back arrived at imphal today speaking to media at the airport sharda said Central leaders have assured to take up developmental activities on the various ministry in the state. हमारा एस टी मोर्चा का प्रदेश कार समिति बैठक होगी हम संगठनात्मक संरचना के आधार पर इस प्रदेश के अंदर में कैसे अपने संगठन को विस्तार कर सकते हैं इस दृष्टि से हम लोग कार्य योजना बनाएंगे और उस कार्यक्रम के माध्यम से हम इस प्रदेश के अंदर हमारे जो संगठनात्मक संरचना की जो अंतिम इकाई है बूथ तक में हम कैसे जा करके हम अपने पार्टी को विस्तार दे सकते हैं सारे दृष्टि से यहाँ पर कल बैठक होने वाली है एन ए मिनिस्ट्री टेक्सटाइल योर अगर वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड और कोई ना उन्नरी बस सिंधु की कंसर्न सिंधु की दरकार ले बस सिंचाव कर रहना बा डेवलपमेंट तो वही आप गई तो उसे है देना तो मताने रही तो आन तो आन बा एक वही स्टेट की वही बा इश्यू सिंग कई सिंग आदु दिया कोई ना करी तो गदा के है बदु दिया कोई ना लीडर सिंग ना करी खली है बदु दिया कोई वारी वताई � Acting on a tip off, a team of Imphal S District Police, led by Imphal S Commando Officer in Charge K H Henry, under the supervision of Imphal S District Additional SP Operation Roni Mayengbum, have arrested four members of proscribed outfit Ziliarong United Front Kamsoon ZUF K Group, including two self-styled second lieutenants. The members were allegedly involved in extortion from transporters and vehicles along the Imphal Ziribam Road National Highway Number no. 37, as well as threatening and making disturbance to the Indian Railways Company's workers. Various arms and ammunition were also seized from Nonne today, following interrogation of the arrested persons. Speaking to media at Conference Hall of Imphal East District, SP Office Forum Part today. SP Imphalist and Hirojit Maite said that the four ZUF members were arrested from New Chekon during search operation carried out by the police team late last night. He identified the arrested persons as 30 years old self-styled second lieutenant Duan Twingam Golmai from Goiteng village, Kopum. 41 years old self-styled second lieutenant Gai Kongam Runangmai from Muktina village, Nongba. 45 years old self style private tamngambo marain mai from akutpa village kangpokpi and 24 years old self style private zagai lung golmai from muktina village nongba he added combined team of impalis commando team 10 assam rifles and 15 assam rifles along with arrested persons conducted search operations at nonne part 5 He said the arms used in conducting illegal activities were recovered during the operation. The Imphalist SP said one HK rifle 33, two rocket-propelled grenade RPG launcher, and one self-loading rifle SLF were seized. He added the arrested persons were handed over to Porompat Police Station for further legal actions. Imphal East Additional SP Operation Roni Mayengbum, Imphal East Commando OC K H Henry took part in the meet. 
ZUF ki Jaliarong region ki kader mari fai aniema second lieutenant ni aduga aniema na private ni akoi na farm matung da wang pa hong jatha bada moin na season na bakulai lo laga thami have dege koi midnight joint operation with 10 AR and 15 AR kulaga koi commando sing na noni part 5 ki jungle ki area da kulai singkra recover ta wong ki kulai sing dudi ekdu koi na sis ta wi aduga moin na paramba season na ramba unlawful activities the season na ba mobile tare amaga shu akoi recover ta wi recover ta ba arms and ammunition sing aduga mobile aduga faraba jaryo ke gi maro eba miwai sing adu koi oje korom part police station da sinaraga maka ta ba investigation ta wana ba koi sata jari State Health Society, National Health Mission and Directorate of Health and Family Welfare Services, Manipur, jointly observed World Population Day at Indian Medical Association, IMA Hall, in Lumpilpat today. World Population Day was observed on the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on fertility across the globe on June 11. However, the state government delayed the observance owing to inconveniences. Speaking at the event, Health Advisor to Chief Minister Dr. Sapam Ranjan spoke on the global crisis of overpopulation. He also stressed on the need of collective effort in bringing solution to issues of overpopulation, infertility and others. A rally was also carried out on provision of family planning service even in a crisis for a self-reliant nation and family from Office of Directorate of Health and Family Welfare to Lumpel IMA Hall. Imanaba mayam, sir, pambi ba mayam, so imanaba, imanabi mayam, wali sabakan, issues ahum marile. First issue, primary infertility, angang amabu lai bangam daba, kayamuk lai gedu yang biyo. Second issue, angang amadaki hana lai bangam secondary infertility laga, adamayna, Kenal lagi. Si yang biasa, si yang mereka sebagai reality, practical experience nanti. Data kaum juga sudah bukan nampak wahai ngah tu nih. Fertility clinics, kari kita nampak tu boom tau ini. Fertility clinics, kari kita nampak tu yang tau ini. Fertility clinics ki specialist itu tak bagai kemainan sila ini. Why infertility ki cases aku wang ya. This is all related with what food we eat. Aku hajang tanah lagi ba, luna tanah lagi ba, STDs lagi tiba. Si yang biasa, oh ini, oh ini link lah orang lain ya. Attending the event, Director of Health Services Dr. K. Rajo stressed on ongoing mass awareness programs on effects of increasing population. Speaking at the event, State Mission Director of State Health Society, National Health Mission Dr. N. Shamjai expressed concern that the world will face a major crisis once the global population exceeds to 10 billion from the current total population of around 7.9 billion. He added, infertility issue is one of the health problems related to the prevailing COVID-19 pandemic crisis. He encouraged people to get COVID-19 vaccine without fail. Population is not going to be a good thing. It's 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 not going to be a good thing. Nasai mobilisasi perempuan naik ter tak duduk sih kali ini dah nasai ki mayam sih kian tahan bah. Akui ki usik leh ibah population si seven point nine ni seven point nine million sih akang ahi sih naik bida ten billion jor gadi ten billion deh hel gadi koi art pitrubi sih dah misi sustain tau bunga mohel. Provide jor kani hadi mih kudu misi lahir jor kani population na marum morga lahir jor gadi education fokus tau bunga mohel. Adon economic repercussion lah kani. Social repercussion lagi ni, aduh, macam mana orang kau populasi ni kontrol tu kau boleh ada, hai tu na, itu juga kita lepas kau di mana masih kangen orang apa macam ni. Health advisor to Chief Minister Kam Kontosam MLA Dr Sapam Ranjan assured to increase COVID care centres and community home isolation centres in the state in wake of increasing COVID-19 positive cases in the state. He further appealed to utilize existing centers properly. He was responding to impact news during celebration of World Population Day at IMA Hall, Lumphail, today. Dr. Sapam Ranjan highlighted the plights facing authorities issue, uh, owing to increasing positive cases and critical condition of COVID patients. He further appealed to those with COVID symptoms to conduct COVID tests instead of hiding away. Responding to Impact News, Genem's Director Professor Lysham Debain said there are no vacant 
COVID-19 beds in Jenims and there are above 40 ICU beds in Jenims. Pulse oximeter to na mo ikano tau tiyan na problem dun lai ho mulo ay low kama tau bu na pulse oximeter na yeng pagkanto dun di almost eighty eighty two lakan last moment dun lak pagkanto then aw dahil adu kikan udu dun sa management dun siyam na wab mo ay ano na just hatang kita ngayon ay bidro ba kanau yam kana nara ba manam maha telakta ba lai ho kaya tau ba swara makita ngayon wara ba test tau thokpe ba darka ay bidro kimatung ina sum activate tau ba manipu university kina an honorable cm sa lai yeng bido adu sa activate tau nina bido mga hujig lai re so darka ay wera agad di community home isolation dun zo adum panayam lai re si example o ina ay gi ay gi kian brazil da hujig community home isolation hundred and seventy plus ni community home isolation asymptomatic smayna kasi kasi ako ay gi ay kano ni community home isolation na kara lai ho ba Lay bi abat kriteria do. Community care center dah kalah lay ba. Aduh lagi amuk hospital, apa yang HDU ventilator yang udah bah hospital kalah lay ba. Aduh lagi sih kita systematic kan, maksudnya aduh mana cara bekerja jeda. Nasi kita yang kalah lay ha bisa dom. Atau apa dom aktif itu guni ya bersih kita. Duga aduh disasu lay kita tu ni nanti zai kita rasa amuk pun nama aduh kita rotation tu ni mainly. Hujung hujung kita kira ni dia, apa yang ICU kita biasa. Lain aku full ni. Aduh kita hujung hujung apa yang Tara amasu, yang mana nau nak kau yang level same ke advice makah dah. Functioning tahun pun boleh jadi. Masa tu lain maklum ada pipeline kereta ngai re. Pipeline tu kau ngasih ni ni natrium humi esi dah. Lain ni nak kau kan boleh jadi. Pun nak kau bed two hundred fifty nine ni. Aisyu kiji forty forty plus ni. Aduh forty plus ni lain maklum always full level or lay lay benda tu bu. Ata itu bed cingsu daka labour orang kedi, akui kena thang dua raga oksigen thang dua raga, ngamne ngamne waktu time to time simptom ini matu ina akui treatment kena satu jari. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. Keep watching Impact News. Extra at school, gari awak lekai. Online registration for class 11, 2021-22 is now open. Visit school website www.extraedschool.in Also, download admission bulletin and read carefully before filling up the form. Hello viewers, Impact News on demand. Hana SMS Amadi, watch your click button to say Khangiram Bandhu. Haujikti, Adom Adom ye mobile phone dagi selfie video request koi nasu. Adom Adom na apam ba isay singadu Khangirak pa yaragani hai na. Kanjiri, kau bila dengu adom adom di mobile phone dagi selfie video request onya, isai kambi rakpa yaragani. Impact music on demand every Saturday 6:30 p.m. Repeat next day 1 p.m. The St. Anthony School, Chingmeirong is a CBAC co-educational English medium school run by committed professional teachers with a focus on discipline, critical thinking, creativity and collaborative learning. The school has one of the best campuses providing top class educational and sporting facilities. Admissions ongoing for class 11 Arts and Science 2021-22 to session. You are the future. School, a place where your future is carved. Exploring new ideas, large classroom, big library, even smart classes we have now. Expressing in art, educating young minds, even making stronger. This is where you start, cause it all begins with you. UNACO School, excellence in education. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. India reported a total of 39,949 new COVID-19 confirmed cases during the past 24 hours. As per the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, the country's COVID tally stands above 3 crore, 10 lakhs, 26,000, out of which 
430,422 are active cases. In their reported 40,026 recoveries in the past 24 hours, rising the total recovered cases in the country to 3 crore 1,83,876. The in India's recovery rate stands at 97.28%, while the debt toll has reached 4,12,531 with the addition of 542 new COVID-19 fatalities. Over 39 crore 53 lakh people have been vaccinated against COVID-19 in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 18 crore 98 lakh 88 thousand people above 40 lakh 85 thousand people have died and recoveries are above 17 crore 32 lakh 51 thousand the government has placed order for 66 crores of covid vaccines worth 14 crore and 505 rupees to procure COVID seal and vaccine to vaccinate everyone above 18 years in the nation within this year. The order is in line with the center's estimate of 135 crore doses being available between August to December, as stated in its affidavit submitted to the Supreme Court. Apart from the order for 66 crore doses, the government has made an advance payment to reserve 30 crore doses of Hyderabad-based biological ease Corbivax vaccine. Officials said 96 crore doses are expected to be available on account of government procurement during August to December, while 10 crore doses of Sputnik V and 5 crore doses of Jidus Kadila, which is awaited for approval, might be in stock by the end of this year. Assam government has taken steps to boost up the health infrastructure in the state in its fight against the COVID-19. Senior health officials in Guwahati informed that there were 400 ICU beds before COVID-19 in Assam, but due to the efforts of the government, the state has nearly 1,600 ICU beds now. Out of the total beds, 1,400 beds are set up in medical colleges, while the rest in district hospitals. Apart from ICU beds, there are over 16,000 isolation and 2,830 oxygen-supported beds are also available in the state. As of yesterday, 56% ICU beds were occupied by COVID patients. An earthquake of 3.4 magnitude hit Assam at 8.39 this morning. As per reports from National Center for Seismology and the epicenter of the earthquake is Nagao, Assam. There is no report of destruction of property or casualties so far. It may be mentioned that the 5.2 magnitude earthquake hit Assam on July 7 and 6.4 magnitude earthquake on April 28. President of Foundation for Rural Urban Development, Manipur, L. Tomba, said we can overcome COVID pandemic only when people adhere to COVID SOPs. He further appealed to people to strictly follow COVID protocols. Deputy Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, Kam Mayang Imphal MLA, Kong Kham Robindro, said getting COVID-19 vaccine is the only means to prevent against COVID pandemic. He was speaking during the inspection of the mass vaccination drive at Mayang Imphal Wangkai Lekai in Mayang Imphal constituency today. Imphal West District Administration and members of Kuman Laipaki Lamyan Bakang Loop KLLK Club carried out the drive under the initiative of K. Robindro. Altogether, 450 residents of the area were vaccinated during the drive. Vice Chairman of Manipur Food Industries Corporation Limited, K. Sarat Kumar, promised to complete construction of Ziri Tipaimu JT Road within three years if he wins the State Legislative Assembly election 2022 from Ziribam constituency. 
Briefing media persons at PWD Guest House in Babupara, Ziribam regarding various developmental activities taken up in the district. K. Sarat Kumar said lack of proper drainage system along the Ziri Tipaimuk Road worsened the condition of the road. He assured to repair the Ziri Tipaimuk Road in the interest of the public. Sarat Kumar also said the construction work of Western Gate in Babupara, Ziribam will complete soon. He also added that preparations are all set to open a new branch of SBI at Ziribam. Sarat Kumar also appealed to the general public to follow COVID-19 protocols during the upcoming 10 days total curfew starting July 18. Major General of Inspector General Assam Rifles South, Alok Nares, uh, said Assam Rifles has been at the forefront of afforestation drive and conservation of forests in the state as well as in the northeast states. He was speaking during the release of a book named Guardians of the Environment, produced by Ministry of Home Affairs at IGAR South, Mantripuki, today. The book contains initiatives taken up by the Assam Rifles to conserve environment. Speaking further, Major General Alok Nare says more than 21 lakh tree samplings were planted by IGAR South at 11 districts of the state so far. He added, IGAR South aims to plant 7 lakhs of tree saplings this year. He said, IGAR South has also put prescribed groups issues at border areas of the state under control. He also added that illegal forest producers worth more than 213 crore rupees were seized during the last one and a half years. Mentioning that Assam Rifles has been taking major role in maintaining law and order as well as conservation of forest, he appealed to people for their cooperation in the same. There is uh, some uh, deforestation which is going on, which has been happening in the past also. Towards that, there are certain policies which have already been brought in by the uh, by the government of India, by the uh, state government. We are trying to contribute in terms of identifying the areas where uh, this deforestation is happening. Also to assist the state government in closing down the unauthorized uh, sawmills which are there. And also to cease and stop illegal movement of the timber. For about uh, four to five years, hmm. there has been a major improvement. Hmm. in the uh, forward areas, in the hill areas as well. Various government schemes which are there, they have made a lot of difference. There are various uh, border area development projects hmm. uh, which are authorized by the uh, Ministry of Home Affairs. And we are also uh, contributing in our own way. There President of RPI Atwale Manipur State Committee, Maheshwar Thaunavzam, felicitated a rickshaw driver who drove Ongbi Anita from Kaisampath Konjeng Hazari Lekai today. He also extended financial aid to Anita during the event held at his residence at Kaisampath. Speaking at the event, Maheshwar lauded Anita for her courage and engaging in e rickshaw passenger service. He termed Anita as a role model and an inspiration. Speaking on the occasion, Huidrom Anita said the e rickshaw was bought by, his, by her husband. Unfortunately, her husband remained immobile following an illness and she wrote the e rickshaw. She appreciated Maheshwar for acknowledging her. Koi ke samthong ke andar manung sida sumai na ichan nama na sumai na thole hai rakan da i auto service bhi bida na mayam ke khudong chawa phangan da na ai koi le riko ai su SMN koi thabak to bhiyai hai bhi nupa magar nupi magar koi ke right mane hai bhi sida su matakta duty su mane ko hai bhi chap chap example lamu ubase ta saying na yam kahe na chok thok sab poksei ar matung ta bhi su koi anita na thabak thora mayam mama adagi de sidagi ahen ba thora ke hai bhi su ai na ahen ba mating pangzagani angam mating pangzagani. I now author Tokjara Paze Ta Taruk the Mine Sure. I now author Tokjara Kibasio. I I I get a puro ibado Guinea Haina. I author the Lajaram Bane. Ado Ipuro Ibana, Mamaktava Dagi Aina, Ipuro Bagi Mahutilaga Tokjara Pane, author Tokose. Mating Pang Pang Bira Pagi, the Makta Aigi, the Dama has Tagat Papong Doktari. One day online legal awareness program on whether the rights of the local populace, especially women folks, are protected and actualized under the Manipur Village Authorities in Hill Areas Act 1956 was held today. District Legal Services Authority, the Manglong, organized the program at the Manglong. For our legal volunteers, 
women organization members, non-government organizations, local club members attended the program. Director of Human Rights Low Network Manipur Advocate Mahobam Rakesh spoke as resource person at the event. Ahead of the upcoming 32nd Tokyo Olympic Games starting July 23rd, Governor Dr. Najma Haptila wished luck and success to five Manipuri players of the state who will participate in the game. There are, they are the, uh, the players are Sanglakpam Nilakanta, Shushila Pukrambam, Shushila Likmabam, Saikom Mirabai and MC Maricom. The five Manipuri players will compete in hockey, judo, weightlifting and boxing. Dr. Najma Haptila also wished all the 119 players representing Indian contingent in Tokyo Olympic 2021 for grand success. Before we end, a quick look at the headlines once again. State government announces 10 days statewide total curfew from July 18 to 27 to bring down spread of COVID infection and in the interest of public health. Panic buying groups in Falls City. Many rushed to buy essential commodities, causing traffic snarls on major roads of Falls City following curfew announcement. Manipur reports 1,128 new COVID-19 cases out of 7,184 samples tested in the last 24 hours. That toll reaches 1,350 with 10 new deaths. Health advisor to Chief Minister Dr. Estap Ranjan assures to increase COVID care centres and community home isolation centres in wake of COVID situation in the state. Farmers in Kakching district are facing inconveniences in getting fertilizers as agriculture department supply fertilizers to 200 farmers per day. National Medical Commission permits to open 11 new postgraduate courses at Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Janim, in Paul. And India records above 40,000 recoveries and 38,949 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. India's recovery rate stands at 97.28%.